What I want to talk to you about today is using your imagination, using your creative impulse to think outside the box. So I've actually um, <clears throat> done this in my last two companies. Um, I've creatively acquired 100,000 users for free in less than a week. Um, so I did it uh, with my company that I had in London called Pop Jam, and most recently with Calm. Um, and basically, in a nutshell, the idea is this, to build something that's more viral than your actual product, to build something that's more viral than your actual product. Um, now, this sounds kind of strange. You know, why would you build something else? Why not just focus your attention on uh, your main product? That's where your energy should be. Um, well, I'm going to say something controversial. I think, you know, most of the products we're working on are not immediately going to grab a lot of people's attention. Um, they may be too niche, they may be too simple at first. So building something else can actually uh, gain attention and drive users to your main product. Um, Seth Godin uses this analogy of the purple cow. So if you're driving down a highway, and you look into a field, and you see a bunch of cows, you wouldn't think of anything, anything of it. But if you saw one that was purple, you would be like, holy shit, there's a purple cow. And it would gain your attention. So I'm going to say that like, most of us don't have a purple cow initially, right? Like our ideas need iteration and evolution. But the technique that I'm talking about today is about making a purple cow, like letting your imagination run wild. And then the cow that's like, really close to it benefits from proximity. Um, so Pop Jam, this was my company back in 2008. It was a social network for sharing funny, humorous content, memes, videos, that sort of thing. Um, ultimately, it failed, but the launch story is pretty interesting. Um, we were getting ready to launch, uh, building, coding, designing, and it was, I think it was a Sunday night. I was sitting on the couch with um, my best buddy, Michael Acton Smith, um, and we were watching the news, and we saw the incident about George Bush um, getting a shoe thrown at his face. Um, and this story was like wild. It was all over the press. And we're sitting there thinking, okay, this is kind of interesting. Like, this should be a game. Someone's going to build a game where you, sh you throw a shoe at George Bush's head. Um, and I'm thinking, hang on, like, I'm working on this thing called Pop Jam that's like funny content. You know, this would be a funny game. Let's build this game. So I go into the office on a Monday and I say to the team, right, guys, we're going to build a game where you throw a shoe at George Bush's face. And we did. Um, we, in like three hours, literally in three hours, we built this game. And you have, in the game is basically you have 30 seconds to hit George Bush's face as many times as possible. Like it's very, very simple. We, um, I think we just hijacked some really basic Flash game and like reskinned it with our own graphics. Uh, but we knew that the missing ingredient, the game was not enough. You need a great name. For something to go viral, you have to have something that captures people's attention. And I'm a huge fan of puns. So we came up with this pun. Sock and or. Um, so now we have the ingredients of something that's potentially viral. Um, and so we launched it, and it did. It went immediately viral. Um, it got tons and tons of press. Uh, you know, it was all over the world, in mainstream media. And in seven days, it got nine million visitors. Um, now, there's no way in the world that Pop Jam, in its you know, basic form of being this sort of funny meme site would get nine million unique visitors in seven days. But Sokonor did because we were opportunistic and took, took advantage of this amazing news story. Visit designcrowd.com slash twist and save up to $100 on your design project. Uh, if you don't know, uh, designcrowd.com is uh, a place where you can, it's a marketplace and you put up what you want to design and a bunch of designers go compete and build you a great logo, designs for your website, et cetera. And they've got over 500,000 registered designers from around the world. It works really simple. You post a brief, hey, here is what I'm looking for, and you'll receive 60 to 100 different designs or more. And you then provide feedback and you get changes so you can go back and forth. And then you select the best design and approve payment to that designer. And if this all sounds scary, like, oh my God, I've never done it before, don't worry, there's a money back guarantee and I did it for my website, calacanis.com, and for $500, we received over 350 designs. I'm not sure you're going to receive 350. I did tweet it. So maybe you'll receive 60 to 100. But 
it was amazing. We got a ton of uh, great icons and illustrations and portraits and bulldogs. You can go see it if you go do a search over there. And uh, you can help me select the winning design by voting at designcrowd.com slash twist. Their other clients include Harvard Business School, the old HBS, Virgin, HTC, Absolute Vodka, Amnesty International, which was my first job out of school, and over 100,000 other small businesses. So here's your call to action, everybody. Go to designcrowd.com slash twist and save up to $100 on your design project. Give it a shot. You're going to love it. I guarantee it. Designcrowd.com slash twist, and you'll get $100 off. I guarantee it, but I don't have to guarantee it because they guarantee it. It's got a money-back guarantee. Design Crowd, it works. It's awesome. Go ahead and visit at Design Crowd. Oh, go ahead and follow them on Twitter, too, at Design Crowd. Okay. Mm-hmm. 